All right, all right, it is grit time, day 17. Wednesday means kettlebells. As you can tell from behind me, it is pitch black outside. I am used to doing these workouts in the dark, but normally it is a.m. and not p.m. I have put this off as long as I possibly can today. It has been an extremely long day, and on top of that, I've got something going on with my throat. I'm not 100% sure what it is. I'm hoping that it's just allergies. And even though today's story out the principle says, that I find pleasure in the monotony, I would be lying to you if I told you that the emotion that I'm feeling right now is pleasure. That being said, I do know in the game of transformation, my emotions do not matter. And so when the script says that we've got a workout today and it is kettlebells, that is exactly what is going to get done. The last couple of weeks I have done F4, which is five rounds. The first week I did it in a little over 29 minutes. Last week we shaved off a full seven minutes, even though most of that was due to the fact that I did drop the weight a little bit on the overhead presses, but my time last week was a little over 22. So we'll see if I can continue to make improvement. And then of course, today's lovely finisher is push-ups and pull -throughs. All right, team, kettlebells is done. I tell you what, that wasn't too bad. Historically speaking, the kettlebell workout, at least of the past couple of grit regimens, has been one of my least favorite days of the week. I don't know what was different about today. Maybe I just got in a rhythm or got lost in thought, but it wasn't too terrible. And in fact, I knocked off another two minutes and change off of my F4 time from last week. So we set a brand new benchmark and then an additional eight or nine seconds off my finisher as well. So uh, I felt like I was getting stronger as this workout went on and that proved itself out in the times. But going back to today's story athlete principle, which is I find pleasure in the monotony. I don't think pleasure, at least for me, is the right word there in that context. For me, I know that I try to avoid pleasure at all costs because it isn't a feeling and an emotion that my lesser self craves. It's like a Pandora's box. Once I start giving in to pleasure, and giving my lesser self bits and pieces of pleasure, it wants, that's all it ever wants. It's like sugar, it's an addiction. So for me, it's not about pleasure, but I do find satisfaction in the monotony. This night is a perfect example. I didn't feel like doing this workout at all. Not that there was immense resistance to doing it because I know that grit is who I am, it is what I do. But physically speaking, I wasn't in a good place tonight, but I still was able to come out here and knock two minutes off my time and set a new PR and I find immense satisfaction in that. So for me, I find immense satisfaction in the monotony because I know that I am staying at least one step ahead of my lesser self and my weak brain at all times. And I also know that there are very few people who are willing to abstain from pleasure. And so when I do that, I know that I'm one step ahead of the competition as well. So that is it. Day 17 is in the books. I believe this was 81 days. 81 straight days of story athlete fitness and tomorrow we have 12 minutes of death plus the uh, good old bar hang. So I will be back in the morning for another video. See you guys then.